Hey everyone, I'm Adam Harrington from Learn Your Land, and today I'm foraging the blackberry plant. You might be thinking to yourself, well it's late May, how in the world are you foraging for blackberries? So I'm not foraging the fruits of blackberries, I'm specifically foraging the tender stalks, the top part of the stalk. And this is something that I really like to forage this time of year, mid to late May into June, because it's only available for a limited amount of time. And it's almost like eating celery with a slightly astringent aftertaste. So this is the blackberry plant right here, and this is the first year stalk, known as the primocane. And so there are prickles all over it, but they're not that mature. And so they don't really hurt you that much. They can bend, they give really easily. Almost like in stinging nettle, you know, when it's very, very young, you don't really get stung too easily. But as the plant matures, those trichomes in the stinging nettle, they mature, and so they can sting you much more readily. It's kind of the same thing with the blackberry as well. When it's very young, these prickles don't really hurt, but still I like to remove them. So this is the blackberry first year stock known as the primocane. What I'm gonna do is harvest the tender, maybe four or five or six inches of it, and then peel it, and it's kind of like eating celery. So I've got my knife right here, and I'll probably harvest maybe right here, and then I'll pull off one of these side leaflets, and then I'm just going to basically remove some of these outer prickles, almost like I'm peeling celery. It only takes a couple seconds to do. That's basically all you have to do. It has a great crunch to it, and the best part about this is that it's very hydrating. So it's a very sunny day, it's pretty warm here, somewhere in the low 80s in Pennsylvania. And I'm always looking for foods that are very hydrating, especially if I don't have a lot of water on me. And this is one of those plants that's very hydrating, kind of like celery, there's a lot of water in it. Now there is a slightly astringent aftertaste to it, but if you don't mind it, then neither do I. <laughs> but I don't mind it at all, and I don't really like foraging these. Now what's great about this is that this plant can withstand some harvesting, especially here in Pennsylvania. It's very prolific. You know, it really likes to occupy the edges of forests and fields, especially in a lot of disturbed areas. And here in Pennsylvania, we do have a lot of disturbed areas. So it's a very prolific plant. It can withstand some harvesting, especially non-lethal harvesting. So what I did right there was just cut off the tender top part, and I'm allowing the plant to live. I'm allowing the plant to carry out all of its physiological processes. And it'll still be able to photosynthesize because a lot of leaves are still present here. So that's what makes foraging blackberries so fantastic. Not just the fruits, but harvesting these tender tops as well. So I encourage you to get out there and forage this plant if you have access to wild blackberry, and I bet you do. And try it out, let me know what you think, I'd love to hear all about it. Thanks for watching, happy foraging.